Hello students, in 9th Max Chapter 3 Algebra, today we learn exercise 3.3, 6 sum. First we read the question, if two polynomials, 2x cube plus ax square plus 4x minus 12 and x cube plus x square minus 2x plus a, leave the same remainder. When divided by x minus 3, find the value of a and also find the remainder. Let f of x equal to 2x cube plus ax square plus 4x minus 12 and g of x equal to x cube plus x square minus 2x plus a. Here we find the zero of the divisor. So x minus 3 equal to 0. So what is x value? 3. What is x value? 3. This is the zero of the divisor. Here you see the question. Here f of x and g of x leave the same remainder. So, so we have to take step 1. f of x equal to 2x cube plus ax square plus 4x minus 12. Here we substitute the 0 of the divisor that is f of 3. So for x we have to replace by 3. So 2 into 3 the whole cube plus a into 3 the whole square plus 4 into 3 minus 12. Now you simplify this line. So 2 into 3 cube 27 plus a into 3 square 9 plus 4 3 is a 12 here minus 12 now you simplify this 2 into 27 that is 54 a into 9 9a plus 12 minus 12 cancel that is f of 3 is equal to 54 plus 9a. This is equation number 1. Now we move on to step 2. Here we have to take g of x. What is g of x? x cube plus x square minus 2x plus a. Here we have to substitute the 0 of the divisor. What is that? Yes, 3. So, g of 3 equal to 3 the whole cube plus 3 the whole square minus 2 into 3 plus a. Now, you simplify this. 3 cube 27 plus 3 square 9. 2 3s are 6. Here, minus 6 plus a. Now we simplify this 30 plus a that is g of 3 equal to 30 plus a. This is equation number 2. Now we move on to step 3. In step 3 we find the a value. Here f of 3 equal to g of 3. Because both also leave the same remainder. So we have to take like that. So therefore we have to equate equation number 1 and 2. What is f of 3? 54 plus 9a. What is g of 3? 30 plus a. Now we simplify this. So 9a. You have to move a in left hand side. So minus a. Here 30 plus 54 next side go means minus 54. 
see the left hand side 9a minus 1a that is 8a. In the right hand side see the 30 minus 54 what is that minus 24. Now we have to move the side a is equal to minus 24 divided by 8. So now we have to cancel this what is that yes minus 3. So value of a is equal to minus 3. Then see that last step. Here we find the remainder. So how to calculate the remainder? You have to substitute the a value in f of 3 or g of 3. So g of 3 is equal to 30 plus a. Now we substitute the a value here. 30 minus 3. So we have to subtract this 27. So g of 3 is equal to 27. So therefore this is a remainder. What is the remainder? 27. So we have to find the value of a and value of remainder. Now we write the answer. Value of a equal to minus 3 and remainder is 27. This is the answer for this sum. Next we see the last example in remainder theorem. Example 3.12. Without actual division prove that f of x equal to 2x power 4 minus 6x cube plus 3x square plus 3x minus 2 is exactly divisible by x square minus 3x plus 2. Here f of x equal to 2x power 4 minus 6x cube plus 3x square plus 3x minus 2 and take g of x equal to x square minus 3x plus 2. See the question here f of x is exactly divisible by g of x. So the remainder must be 0. Here we find the factors of g of x. You already learnt T factorization in 8th standard. Here product equal to 2. And what is the sum? Minus 3. Product 2 and sum minus 3. Now let's see the refactorization. Here we write product. In this side we write sum. What is the product? 2. Here what is the sum? Minus 3. So 1, 2 is 2. 1, 2 is 2. If you add the same number, you will get the answer minus 3. So, we put minus in for both numbers. Here minus 1, here minus 2. Here we have to write the x coefficient divided by square. Now we have to cancel this. So, what are the factors? x minus 1 and x minus 2. So that is g of x equal to x minus 1 and x minus 2. Here we find the 0 of the divisor. See the first term x minus 1. x minus 1 equal to 0. So what is x value? 1. So x equal to 1. And see the second term x minus 2. Here x minus 2 equal to 0. So x equal to 2. So x equal to 1 and x equal to 2 or the 0 of the divisor g of x. Now we move on to step 1. In step 1 we have to take f of x. f of x equal to 2x power 4 
minus 6x cube plus 3x square plus 3x minus 2. Here we have to substitute f of 1. So 2 into 1 power 4 minus 6 into 1 cube plus 3 into 1 square plus 3 into 1 minus 2. Now we simplify this line 2 into 1 power 4 that is 2 minus 6 into 1 cube 6 plus 3 into 1 square that is 3 plus 3 into 1 plus 3 it is minus 2. Now we simplify this 2 minus 6 that is minus 4. Here plus 3 plus 3 plus 6. Here minus 2. Minus 4 minus 2. We have to add means minus 6. Here plus 6. Plus 6 minus 6 cancel. So 0. That is f of 1 equal to 0. In step 2 we substitute 2 for x. That is f of x equal to 2x power 4 minus 6x cube plus 3x square plus 3x minus 2. Here we substitute 2. So that is f of 2. 2 into 2 power 4 minus 6 into 2 cube plus 3 into 2 square plus 3 into 2. Here minus 2. Next you simplify this line. 2 into 2 to the power 4. That is 16. Minus 6 into 8. Plus 3 into 2 square. That is 4. Plus 3 to the 6. Here minus 2. So 2 into 16. 32. Minus 6 8 are 48. 3 4 are plus 12. Here plus 6 minus 2. Now we simplify this. Minus 16 plus 16. So minus 16 plus 16 cancel. So 0. That is f of 2 equal to 0. Therefore f of x is exactly divisible by x minus 1 and x minus 2. That is f of x is exactly divisible by x square minus 3x plus 2 that is g of x hence prove okay students yesterday i gave homework have you done your homework all of you take that page and correct it suppose you make mistake means you correct it. See the exercise 3.3 second row letter third question. Find the remainder when p of x equal to x cube minus 3x square plus 4x plus 50 is divided by g of x equal to x minus 3. Here we have to take p of x equal to x cube minus 3x square plus 4x plus 50. Now we find the 0 of the divisor g of x. Here x minus 3 equal to 0. So x equal to 3. Now we substitute the x value in p of x. So p of 3 equal to 3 the whole cube minus 3 into 3 the whole square plus 4 into 3 plus 50. Now we simplify means 3 cube 27 minus 3 into 9 plus 4 3 is 12 plus 50. Here plus 27, here minus 27. Cancel. Now we add means 62. So P of 3 is equal to 62. 
So what is the remainder? 62. This is the answer for this sum. See the fifth question. For what value of k is the polynomial p of x is 2x cube minus kx square plus 3x plus 10 exactly divisible by x minus 2. Here p of x equal to 2x cube minus kx square plus 3x plus 10. Now we find the zero of the divisor. x minus 2 equal to 0. So x equal to 2. If f of x is exactly divisible by x minus 2, then f of 2 equal to 0. So 2x cube minus kx square plus 3x plus 10 equal to 0. Now we substitute 2 into 2 the whole cube minus k into 2 square plus 3 into 2 plus 10 equal to 0. Next you simplify means 16 minus 4k plus 6 plus 10 equal to 0. Now you add this 32 minus 4k equal to 0. So 32 equal to 4k. This both side interchange means 4k is equal to 32. What is k value? 8. So this is the value of k. Value of k is equal to 8. This is the answer for this, for this sum. Let's see today's homework. Exercise 3.3 third question. Find the remainder when 3x cube minus 4x square plus 7x minus 5 is divided by x plus 3. Fourth question. What is the remainder when x power 2018 plus 2018 is divided by x minus 1. Okay students do the sums regularly in your classwork now.